Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's take a look at the problem of a flea jumping up into the air. Okay, so fleas are sort of remarkable little creatures and they can jump extremely high uh, compared to their size. So in fact, let's say that this height is about a half a meter, okay? And if we want to calculate how fast they leave the ground when they jump, how do we do that? Well, let's think about it for a second. If we consider the motion of the flea from right after they leave the ground to the top of the motion, what sort of kinematic equation can we use? Well, we have Vf squared equals vi squared plus 2 a sub y yf minus yi. Okay. We know what the speed is at the top. Vf up there is going to be 0. So the left side of the equation becomes 0 and we have vi squared plus 2 times the acceleration, and the only acceleration after they leave the ground is minus g, thanks to gravity. And now we have yf, which is h, and y initial, which is 0. All right, so we can move this stuff over to the other side. We've got 2g h, when I add it to the other side, it becomes a positive, equals vi squared. So vi equals the square root of 2gh. And if we plug in our numbers, you should get a v of around 3.2 meters per second. 3.1 or 3.2 meters per second. So that's interesting. Let's ask another question though. Let's continue this problem and say we want to know how long that flea is in the air. All right, so to do that, we can go back to our kinematic equations, and we can write down the following equation. Vf equals Vi plus A times T, where T is how long they are in the air. But let's use the whole motion now. Let's go ground back to ground. And if we do that, we know that if they left the ground at vi and they come back down at vf, then vf is just the negative of vi. Uh-huh. Let's solve this equation now for t. t equals vf minus vi all over a, which becomes negative vi minus vi all over a, which we said was negative g. And so we get 2 vi over g. And now we know all those numbers. We know vi from the first part. g is, of course, 9.8. And if you run those numbers, you should get a t of around 0.64 seconds. All right. Check that for yourself. Hopefully it's clear. If not, come see me in my office. Cheers.